Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to create this guide screw for machine vice assembly. So let's get started. Go to new file. Select part. Make sure the dimensions selected in millimeters. Go to planes. Left click on front plane and right click to select sketch. First draw a center line starting from origin. Pick this line and add relation horizontal. Now select line to draw the sketch of guide screw shaft like this. Close the sketch from here. Select Smart Dimensions. Select this bottom line and then this center line and move your cursor below the center line to get the outer diameter. Enter the diameter of 20 millimeters. Now select this middle line and then enter the diameter of 25 millimeters. Select top line and give a diameter of 38 millimeters. Now we will define the length of shaft. For this first line, enter the dimension of 12 millimeters, which will act as a collar of shaft. Now select the last line and enter a dimension of 95 millimeters. For the middle line, keep a length of 245 millimeters. As our sketch is fully defined, go to Features Select Revolved Boss Base. At the front side of this guide screw we required a thread. But, first we will apply some chamfer on this front edge. Select chamfer from this drop-down. Select this edge and enter 2.5 mm chamfer here. Now to create the thread. Go to Whole Wizard. Select Thread Features here. For thread location select this front edge. Keep end conditions blind for this edge. Enter thread length of 25 millimeters. And type of thread metric. Size to be M20 by 1.5. See our thread is now created. Now let's create the square lead screw. First select this face and right click to draw a sketch. Select this edge and choose convert entities so we can convert this edge into a circle. Exit sketch. From this sketch we will create a helix. So select the sketch and go to Curves drop down here. Look for helical and spiral options. First reverse the direction of this helix. From the top drop down select the option height and pitch. Then enter a height of 215 millimeters here. And pitch of 4 millimeters. Keep the start angle to be zero. Uncheck this taper outwards options if checked. Click OK to exit. You can see we have created the helix from the sketch of this edge. Now we require a plane to draw the sketch of the profile of our square thread. So go to reference drop down and select plane options here. For first reference, select this helix.
and for second reference select the starting point of the helix. So plane 1 is now created. Select this plane and right click to draw a sketch. Draw a corner rectangle from the origin of size 2 mm by 2 mm. Exit Sketch. Select Swept Cut. First select the profile. From here Part 2 drop down tree. Select the Sketch 5. And for guideline select the helix we created. Click OK to complete and see now our lead screw is created. Select this plane and right click to hide it. Select this helix also and right click to hide it. Now on this face we will create a square section to hold the handle. Right click to draw the sketch. Choose center rectangle. Click on origin and draw the rectangle. From Smart Dimension assign the size of 20 mm by 20 mm. From Features choose Extrude Baw Space. Keep End Condition Blind and enter the length of 41 mm. Click OK to complete. Now add some chamfer on the collar. Enter 0.5 mm as chamfer on both sides of the collar. Our guide screw is now completed. Add material from Appearance menu. Select the material and drag it over to shaft. You can also add some basic scenes here from Scenes menu. Hope you liked the video. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. If you have any doubt you can comment below. Thanks for watching.